Okay, now let's move on to part two. I was saying just now that we can use um, speed. Okay, we can use speed here to describe the movement of a or the motion of an object. So what actually is speed? The word speed we are actually referring to the distance traveled divided by the time taken. So it's actually in this case here another word that we can put it is it is the distance covered per unit time. Okay, so maybe it's the distance covered per second or per hour or per minute. It depends on what is the time frame we are using. Okay, so how do we calculate speed? The simple formula is distance traveled divided by the time taken. So what I need to do is you want to find speed. So I'll do is I'll take my thumb, I'll cover it. So it's just like taking a thumb, covering it. What I'm gonna have is d divided by t. So speed is distance divided by time. Okay, this formula can also be let's say for example I want to find time. I'll cancel out my time. Okay, cover using my thumb or whatever. Then I'll have to find time it is it is distance divided by speed. Okay, to find time we take the distance divided by speed. And lastly, okay, if we want to find the distance traveled, okay, we want to find the distance traveled, so we're gonna use our thumb to cover the D. Okay. It is actually taking the speed multiplied by time and we will get the distance. So this is the way how we can use this triangle over here. Okay. So now, what's the SI unit for speed? It is meters per second. So just take note of it. This is the SI unit. Okay, meter per second. Okay, right now, let's move on. So, how does the speed change as the motion changes? So for example, we talk about starting a motion, maybe a 100 meter sprint at the start of the race. So the guy will initially be standing still. Okay, sorry, we'll be at a ready mark. So his speed is zero because he's not moving. But when he starts sprinting, okay, his speed will move up from zero to ten. So we talk about starting a motion. Starting means from zero to a different speed. Next one, we talk about stopping a motion. So maybe at the 100 meter sprint, at the end of the race, the person is very tired, he comes to a stop. So imagine he is here on the race, he runs, and at the end, once he finishes it, or it is a finishing line, he stops there. Stop. His speed actually changes from 10 all the way to 0. So this is stopping a motion. The speed will change to a 0. And last one, we talk about changing the motion. Or an example, running for a bus. Initially, you're walking. Okay, you're walking on the road with your school bag. With your school bag here, school bag. And you walk, and suddenly you see a bus is coming. Oh no! Okay, a bus is coming. So let's draw a nice bus there. Double decker. I mean, it looks quite ugly. Draw a HDB flat, but whatsoever. Okay, the bus is going, and you know that. Oh no! If you don't run for the bus, you're going to be late. So, from walking at 3 meters per second, you started running, sprinting for your life, and you reach a speed of 11 meters per second. So, this is what we talk about changing the motion of an object from an initial speed, okay, from some other speed, for example, 3 in this case, I suddenly speed up to 11. This is changing the motion, alright, changing the motion. So, just take note of this. This is how speed can affect, how this is how the speed change as the motion changes.